Foreign Secretary Chodoro Loksin Jr. apologizes to Chinese Ambassador Huang Shilian for cursing China in a tweet. This comes a day after President Rodrigo Duterte declares only he can use expletives in diplomacy. Presidential spokesman Harry Rocha says Loksin mentioned his apology in their phone call Tuesday morning, May 4. Ang mensahe ng Presidente sa larangan ng diplomasya, wala pong lugar ang pagmumura. At ang sabi po ng mensahe ng Presidente sa lahat ng miyembro ng kanyang gabinete, ang Presidente lang ang pwedeng magmura, wala pong pwedeng gumaya sa kanya. On Monday, Loksin told China to get the fuck out, referring to Chinese ships still in the West Philippine Sea. Meantime, President Rodrigo Duterte on Monday, May 3, denies promising Filipinos during his 2016 presidential campaign that he would pressure China on the West Philippine Sea. I never, never in my campaign as president promised the people that I would retake the West Philippine Sea. What Duterte did promise in the Cagayan de Oro presidential debates in February 2016 was he would ride a jet ski to the Spratlys or Panatag Shoal to plant the Philippine flag. I did not promise that I would pressure China. I never mentioned about China and the Philippines in my campaign because that was a very serious matter. Duterte also insults former Foreign Secretary Albert Del Rosario and retired Supreme Court Senior Associate Justice Antonio Carpio. Carpio shoots back at Duterte on Tuesday, May 4, saying the president was fooling the Filipino people big time. In a statement, Carpio says, There is a term for that, grand estafa or grand larceny, making a false promise to get 16 million votes. In his previous address to the nation, Duterte said the country owes a great debt of gratitude to China for its vaccine donations. Vaccine czar Carlito Galvez Jr. admits on Tuesday, May 4, the Philippines may have to adjust its vaccination target to only half of its population this year. This comes as India focuses its vaccine supplies on its own population amid a deadly surge of COVID-19 in recent days. The Philippines is expecting 30 million Novavax vaccines and around 970,000 doses of AstraZeneca vaccines from India. Galvez says, because of India's current situation, there is a real possibility of delay. Meantime, President Rodrigo Duterte receives the Sinopharm COVID-19 vaccine Monday, May 3, administered by Health Secretary Francisco Duque III. But the Sinopharm vaccine has yet to be issued an emergency use authorization by the Philippine Food and Drug Administration. In an interview with GMA DZBB on Tuesday, May 4, the FDA says the Sinopharm vaccine given to the president is covered by the compassionate use permit that the agency issued last February. The compassionate use permit covers 10,000 Sinopharm vaccine doses purchased by the Presidential Security Group. Community newspaper Sun Star Baguio stops operations after 30 years. The announcement comes Monday, May 3, as journalists worldwide celebrate World Press Freedom Day. Sun Star Baguio editor in chief Roderick Osis says they were informed of the closure through a virtual meeting with Sun Star Publishing Incorporated Management. Sunstar Baguio, which has a total of 16 employees, was the only daily community newspaper in northern Luzon. The pandemic heavily diminished the paper's revenue, forcing it to stop its operations from March until July 2020, when it slowly resumed as a weekly publication. From October to November, the paper resumed its daily operations but had to revert to weekly operations in December. Sunstar Baguio's last print edition was for the week of December 30, 2020 to January 3, 2021. Osis says the management promised that all staff members will receive the benefits mandated by law. Billionaire couple Bill and Melinda Gates are getting divorced. In a joint announcement posted on Bill's Twitter on Monday, May 3, the couple decides to end their marriage of 27 years. The couple have three children. They're listed as co chairs and trustees of their nonprofit, the Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation, launched in 2000. The foundation ended 2019 with net assets of $43.3 billion. Financial details of the decision to divorce are not immediately clear. Bill Gates founded Microsoft in 1975. He stepped down as CEO in 2000 to focus on philanthropy. Meanwhile, Melinda recently began referring to herself as Melinda French Gates on most websites and social media. The split comes two years after Amazon founder Jeff Bezos and Mackenzie Scott announced their divorce. In K-pop news, Korean girl group TWICE releases their first teaser for their 10th mini-album, Taste of Love. They also announced two release dates for the album, June 9 and June 11, with pre-orders starting on May 10. Fans are also anticipating a full group comeback after member Jong Yeon took a hiatus during the promotions for their October 2020 album, Eyes Wide Open. Days before the teaser release, TWICE received their Diamond Creator Award from YouTube for reaching 10 million subscribers on their official channel. 
They are the fourth K-pop group to receive the award, following BTS, Blackpink, and Big Bang. Meanwhile, Super Junior member Yasung drops the music video for Beautiful Night. In the music video, Yasung is paired with actress Park Go Young, who is known for her roles in Korean series It's Okay Not to Be Okay and Sweet Home. Beautiful Night is Yasung's fourth mini album. The album features a total of seven tracks, including the pre release song Phantom Pain. Yasung debuted as a member of K pop group Super Junior in 2005. They marked their 15th anniversary with the release of the album Renaissance in February 2021.